What now? Hello? Hey up. Hey up, Tony. How's it going? Yeah, alright. Just thought I'd let you know I've just sent that money over. Oh, nice one. Cheers for that. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you should bloody thank me. Five grand! I'll never get over that. Anyway. You did a good job in the end, but five grand, Christ almighty, you must be a fool. Well, I appreciate it. It's going to really help me out anyway, Tony. Never again, though. No. Not for five grand. Next time I'll pay you normal. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, like I said, so thanks. Yeah, no worries. See you in a bit. See you, Tony. That's good news, then. Good start to the day. Right, I need the bailer. There she is. I'm hoping my tractor will pull this. Well, I'm hoping. Should do. Mm. I would ask George, but it's a bit too early for him. Then again, I have noticed the farmers across from us are actually out in the fields. Never actually met them as well, so maybe I'll ask George who they are. Do some sunflower. So hopefully we can have a look at that as they're getting on. Right in the field by them. But anyway, let's go and get this baling done. Gotta get this straw done, definitely for George. Give him a bow actually soon just to check what his plan is for today because I'm not quite sure. I know he's been faffing about with Mick about something, some design of something, I don't know. Kind of tried to overhear but yeah, wasn't sure what they were going on about to be honest. Did you see that harvester out in that field? Let's have a quick look, eh? Yeah, look, they're there. All in something. Anyway, don't think I'll get too many bales off this. I'm not expecting many anyway, but I mean, if we get five, I'm happy. It's five more than we've got now. That's the thing uh, that's worrying me the most about moving to court. We're going to have no straw to take with us. And the price of straw, ridiculous, really. It is ridiculous. I guess it's not going to be till next harvest when we bring that straw in ourselves. So just need to make the most of it. We're going to get more animals as well from what George is saying. God knows what's the plan. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at this. Which way should we tackle it? Probably go this way. Yeah, let's start off about here. It's not too bad. I mean, we've got quite a bit of it, really, but... I mm, don't know how many it'll make. I haven't got a clue. Let's have a quick look over here, just see what these are getting up to. Intrigued, I am. Especially since I did that field with Tony. <laughs> just makes me realise how good it can get. Up up here. Yeah, it looks like class. Definitely picking up the sunflower. I wonder who's doing my job. <laughs> yeah. Someone cart in there. I know the feeling, mate. Done a faff, though. Done a make him wait like I did. <laughs> right, let's get this done. Shouldn't take too long. Hey up. Ah, I know who this is. <laughs> hey up, George. Well, all right, bud. Yeah, good, good. Nice day, isn't it? It is. Not bad for October. Well, I know what. What are you doing out in the field bailing? Yeah, just, just about to start, in fact. Right, yeah, I did just see you pop off, so I missed you. Ah, no worries, no worries. Shouldn't take me long, this shouldn't. I'm hoping to get about five bales. Five bales, is that it? I know, ah, but it's only small. I oh, know, well. Ah. Well, it'll help us out. Anything will help us out at the moment with straw, eh? Yeah, I know. When you're done, do me a favour. Ah, uh, what now? Uh, what now? That's what I say to you when you ask me for stuff. Well, I guess I'm learning from you. Leading from me trying to be me. I don't want to be you, George. Still want to walk around with a smile on my face. What are you like? I am happy as Larry. All the time. Yeah, if you say so. 
Anyway, oh, side track it distracted me again. I'm trying to make a good point here. Right then, what do you want me to do? When you're done with the bales, before you bring them back, because I know you'll be faffing doing that all day, <laughs> I want you to come pick me up and we're going to head to the dealership. Alright then, what are you doing now? Are you buying something? Well, we're having a look at something. I don't know if I'm buying it, but I know we're going to need some bits and I'm trying to sort some stuff out. It's going to cost a bit, obviously, but I'm trying to make some deals while I can before we move to court, because... Let's be honest, I ain't got a clue where the dealership is at court. So we're going to have to look into. Yeah, I'll, I can have a look online for you. Look online, that's not going to help us, is it? Well, I'll be able to tell you where it is, at least, for us to go down and, you know, speak to someone. But, I mean, what, what's your idea? Well, my idea is to get as much down as we can and take it with us. Yeah, but that's more for me to take. And? Well, it's just a lot of travelling, isn't it, for the equipment. We've already got a lot to take. Maybe look at getting stuff while we're down there. Listen, right, I'll do what's cheapest. Yeah, right then, no worries, I get that. Right, well, come with me to the dealership, have a look at this thing, see what you think of it. And if you like it, well, I'll try and bargain the deal. All right then, sounds like a plan. As soon as I've done the bail, then I'll come pick you up and we'll go down. Well, all right then, I'll start then. And then you can carry on with your bails, eh? Yeah, all right then, George. Right, I best go, because I won't crack on with this. Oh, no worries, have fun. See you in a bit. Right. She's on. Let's just have a quick look. Seems right. Yeah, I think she's good to go. I did just notice the tractor just went flying out in the field. Must be picking up from him. Tell you what, I do like bailing, but. Nothing better than harvest season, is it? Getting out in them feels like that. Anyway, let's stop faffing, let's get this done. New straw bales, eh? See how many we can pick up. Definitely won't take me long, though. Especially with this size field, it is a quick, quick job. Can you imagine all the bailing Tony had to do in that field? <laughs> that would have been insane. Absolutely insane. See how this first bale comes out, eh? Let's get close over here. Right, we're ready, we'll just have a look just to see what this is like. There we go, eh? Look at that! Not bad, and if that's anything go by, we're gonna make a few bales, aren't we? Maybe more than five now. Let me know. She turned off quite a lot of straw off this rapeseed. Right, best crack on. Looks like we're going to be hauling a lot more than expected.
I tell you what, I am happy with that. For that size field to get eight bales, <laughs> that is pretty decent. I am chuffed with myself. Not bad at all. Yeah, I've noticed they are dropping a bit of straw in this field, which is strange because it's sunflower, so it's probably not going to be much or even good quality. Well, let's just see if I can... Obviously busy. Looks like he's getting full. But no, look at that. I'm sure they won't mind me just standing here being a bit nosy. No, seriously. That straw is it's hardly anything. I bet they're going to cultivate that back in. Maybe I should ask them if I can make a few bales from it. Especially if they're not going to use it. I mean, look at this, the road. It's, it's hardly even any take a while to make some bales from that but they're just going to put it back in in the field we could do with the straw mm. see if I get a chance to speak to one of them first I've got to go and sort George out George needs taken to the store so I hope I just waved at him he waved back anyway so that's a good sign maybe I can ask him hmm I'll leave it for a bit and then when, when I come back to the field, they'll obviously still be in it. It's quite a big field and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll uh, come up with a bit of a plan, eh? But if I can get a few more bales, maybe five, I think it's a no-brainer. It just looks like they're not going to be doing much with that straw. You can see it's dropping off. But I don't think they want to bale that up because of the fact that the swaths aren't big enough. It's not like they're planning to make straw from it. But if I can get some use out of it, I'll definitely try that. I'll speak to George and see what he thinks. He might think it's worth asking, at least. Now, well, let's just park this up here and see what George wants to do. If he wants me to put it back or just... Get straight up to the store, I guess. Come on, George. Hey up. Hey up, mate. I'm ready. Well, oh, that was alright, wasn't it? You did well. Well, yeah, what time is it? <laughs> you really have done well. How many did you get? Got eight. Oh, not bad, not bad. I'll tell you what, for that size field, that's pretty decent. I thought the same. Right, are we heading up now then, and then I can come bring these bales back? I reckon. Uh, tell you what, go with mine. I reckon. I'll wait for you. Ah, uh, you know the drill now, don't you? Yeah, I know, I'm driving. That's it, bud. Right, so we're just going up to the store, yeah? Nothing special? Nah, no, you know where you're going. Ah, radio. Eight bales, then, eh? Oh, you did well there, buddy. I oh, know, I'm chuffed to bits, honestly. It'll help us out. Oh, I know. Shame we can't get any more. Hey, now you said that, I'm out in that field baling. The field just across from where mine is. They're doing some sunflower in there. What? Yeah, harvesting it right now. You probably just look. If you look right then, you see him out in the fields. I can't see anything but a bush. Yeah, I know that, but they are out there. I can't see. If I find a gap, I'll stop for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Come on, stop faffing. Hey, you might be able to look now, George. Uh, I think I can work it out. Anyway, come on. Stop in the middle of the road, Lyle. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Anyway, well, the dropping straw, but it's like, well, it's pointless for them, I guess, because you can tell they're not rowing up much. Oh, what? Well. You think they're going to make bales from it? I honestly don't think they are, but I'm tempted to ask them if we can, especially if they're just going to, you know, turn it back into soil. Mm, well, you may as well. I mean, it's going to help us out, even if we get a few. Exactly my thought, mate. I'm going to ask them. 
Oh, good idea. Well spotted. No worries. Right. What the bloody hell is that? What is that? That's just ridiculous. Why? Too big. It's like a tank. I don't know what to say, George. It's a big tractor. No one's going to use that round here. What are they, they going to... What have they brought that in here for? No one's going to buy that. Ridiculous. Let's have a look at it. Bloody hell, fire. I saw that on the History Channel. They use them in World War Two. <laughs> you honestly think that's a tank? Uh, who's going to drive that? Where are you going to park it? How are you going to fit that on any farm around here? Ridiculous. <laughs> I'll be honest, George. With an exhaust like that, <laughs> I have to agree with you. It's massive. Ridiculous. Bloody stupid thing. Anyway, what is it we're looking at? We're looking at this over here. Who are? Who the hell? Muck spreader? It's a good idea that is, George. I do think we need a better one. I don't know why it's tiny horses. Well, this is, I, I saw this, and it's second hand like. Second hand brand new. That's it. Well said. Exactly. I mean, it's not bad in it, like. But don't get me wrong, it's, it's fairly old and stuff, but I think it's, for the age it is, it's not bad. No. I don't think it's bad at all. It's obviously bigger as well, which is what we probably need, especially for having more animals and bigger fields to cover. Ah, exactly my thought. And I know the muck spreader we got now, we probably can't do much with that. Let's be honest, it's it's been good for us, but I think we need a bit of a step up, and I, I think this is about right. It's not too big, just about right. And I've checked and pretty much massed the up all this. Maybe JCB. I like it, George. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Oh, I thought so. Hey, look at that as well. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Back British farming. I do like that, I have to say. Right, well, what, what do you think then? Should we get it? If you can, you know, get a good deal, yeah. I'm up for that. I think it's a no-brainer. We do need something like that. Right, well, there you go. You see, this is the point I made to you. If I get good deals round here, where I know the guys here at the dealership, they do me a fair price. You know, I can be a bit cheeky and ask for a bit more off. I think we should do it. Fair play. If you're going to speak to Mick as well about me hauling it back and you can give me the right equipment to do it, I'm happily do as many trips as it takes. I just can't drive an HGV, so it's got to be something we can haul with a tractor. I know, I know. I've been speaking to Mick about a few things. We've got a bit of a plan, don't worry. Right, um. Right, well, if you like it, I like it. I think we should just go for it, then. All right, and I'll, uh, I'll let you go in and speak to him, then, I guess. Ah, uh, give me two secs. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> it's been on the History Channel. In all fairness, though, that is massive. I don't think we'd see out like that round here. Especially out in the fields. I guess it's just here for show, isn't it? <laughs> Give me a fast track any day over that. You think that guy's trying to rob that? I don't think he is, George. He looks a bit fishy to me. Fair play. I don't think he is. I think he's just... I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. You'd have to ask him. Uh, I'm going to ask him that. Just looked a bit dodgy to me. Anyway, I got it. Yeah? You got a good deal for it? I did, ah. Uh, are we trading in the old one then? No. We're not. I mean, oh, George, that's a first. Usually you trade in our old stuff, get the price off. No, I'm going to keep it. I think it might come in handy. Oh, ah, what for? Small fields or something? Ah, oh, small fields, and, you know, I do like it. And I can't part with it for some reason. <laughs> Is it sentimental to you? Whatever you want to call it, I just like it, yeah? So I won't get rid of it. All right, and fair play. I'm I'm just glad you've gone with an upgrade. Well, there you go then. Should be happy. I am happy, really happy. I think you've done a good thing there. There we go then. Anyway, before you go back, it's only quarter to twelve. I want to just have a quick talk to you about some of the kit. All right, then. let's get it done. Because uh, I want to go speak to them out in the field. I don't want to miss them. All right, and no worry. You get chance. Still early. All right. Then. Right, well, what are we doing then, George? Right, well, we're going to walk around, just have a look at our kit, and we're going to just think what we need to upgrade. All right, then. Sounds like a good idea. Right, well, mock spread is sorted. 
Yeah. What do you think about all this in here? Well, the trailer's fine, in my opinion. Ah, saves me money. I like it, I like it, get going. Cedar, I mean, we haven't had it long, but it is second hand, George, and it's pretty battered. It's tiny as well. But at the end of the day, we could probably use it for a bit. Ideally, though, we'd want to get a better one. All right, and I'll put that on the maybe list, but at least we can use it. It's not top of the list. All right, I agree with that. Tractors are fine, George. We don't need nothing like that, do we? Oh, load all's good as well. Yeah, load all's fine. Uh, I mean, hay bob we don't really use anymore, do we? Nah, but it's nice, isn't it? I remember when we got that. Hey, that made your day that time, do you remember? Yeah, I think it was the same time you had my camera, didn't you? And you were going through that bloody shed, do you remember? Oh, I remember that. Made a good cameraman, I did, for the day. <laughs> Right, well, I think this is a right. Windrow's fine, so we don't need another row. Right then. Um, mixer depends on how many cows you're going to get. I think there's definitely better out there. So put that on the maybe list. Right then. Straw blower in here, but that seems alright, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd say straw blower's fine. Tanker's fine, definitely. Decent sized tanker that is, George. Oh, and it's pink as well. No one's got a pink one. Limited edition that is. <laughs> I think the mower's fine as well. Oh. Right. Bale trailer's fine. Don't know about this, we never use it. Probably sell that, make a bit of money. Oh, we could do, couldn't we? There's your weight that you love. Hey, nothing wrong with that weight. Ah, if you say so. Two trailers, so we got two bale trailers, they're both fine. That's, we're keeping, but we've upgraded. We haven't got no cultivator or anything like that, have we? I mean, we've got this plough here, but she's small, but she does the job, so... Put, I mean, that's a maybe, really. You could get better, but really, you know, for what it is, it does the job. But I'd say maybe a cultivator. That's not too bad for hauling around some water or anything like that, if you want clean out. Uh, grabs are fine. To be honest, George... I think we need a cultivator, mainly, definitely, in fact. Harvester. I know about harvester, don't worry about that. Right, well, cultivator, harvester. Look at maybe getting a cedar. And I think if there's anything we figure out we need along the way, we could probably give it a shout. There was a few things, but I just can't think anything on top of my head right now. Oh, I'm seeing her. Maybe a better animal trailer? I mean, it doesn't haul many, does it? If we're taking, you know, animals out to the fields and we're having more animals, might be a good idea. All right, and I'll look at one of them. That's a good idea, actually. Right, so I've got down here, top of the list, harvester. Did have muck spreader, but we'll chop that off. Animal trailer next. Then a cedar. I think we're happy with that, aren't we? Yeah. Tedder. We need a tedder, don't we? Oh, ah, tedder. That's true. We can't use that e-bob anymore. It's too small. Right. Let me say that again then. So we got harvester, animal trailer, tedder, cultivator, and then maybe a new cedar. Yeah, I think that's spot on, George. Radio. Right, appreciate that. That's helped me out a lot. It means what I can look at some stuff down this end before we go to court, and if we can't find anything, then at least we can have a look round court, eh? Ah. Second hand all the way then, George. Second hand all the way, buddy. <laughs> all right then. Right, I'm going to go get down to the field and I'm going to need to take the trailer and walk back and get the, the load all you see, so it's going to take me a bit of time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll leave you to it. Radio, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, mate. I'm just trying to think here. I'll tell you what, we'll take the Massey down. Oh, it needs a bit of fuel. Yeah, she's low. Right, I'll quickly fuel this up, get the trailer as well and then we'll we'll make sure we head down with the with the load all. Yeah it's not too bad. We can make a few bales from that. Right, so I've just been speak to them and actually they really sound dead nice people. And they've uh, said that I can make a few bales from it. Which is really kind of them. I offered them a bit of cash but they didn't want it. All they've said is just wait till the field's done and then take the bales from the middle because what they're trying to do is put it back in the ground and add to the topsoil 
So I said I'll make five, and they've happily said that I can do that, so that's not bad at all. I mean, that's going to help us out quite a bit. Five extra bales. I really do appreciate that. They've helped us out there. Right, so let's start putting these on, eh? Only eight bales to haul. Shouldn't take us too long. We'll put them away, and then we're going to have to wait for them to do that field anyway. So it's going to take them, you know, at least... Probably at least a day before I'm in there. We'll um, finish it off today and all that. Come on, Bale. I'm just glad it's a nice sunny day. So we'll have a total of 12 bales then. I mean, compared to where I thought we were going to be, I'll take that. I will. I'll take that. I think that's not bad. Having 12 bales, you know, for where we're at right now with our cows, that's plenty. It really is. For the meantime, you know, when we get to court though, obviously it might change, but luckily right now we don't need to worry about that too much. It's going to take some time to move all the stuff over at least anyway. And then if we do get some more animals, I don't know if we're going to a market picking them up. I don't know what's happening. George is going to have to buy some in, that's definite. Um, we got the possibility of having loads as well. There was a place for some goats and some sheep and everything like that. So I don't know if he's going to go down that path. I'll have to make sure he... Yeah, I'm hoping he lets me know. I still don't know how many acres it is, the farm. He hasn't told me that. Or how many fields he's got. I haven't got a clue. He has kept quite a lot to himself, really. But I'm sure I'll get used to it, get to know the farm quick enough. And I'll be working in it. It's not like George is going to do much, is it? He'll be sitting in that living room trying to figure out the TV for the first two months. <laughs> anyway, we're about halfway through this. Right, so last bale. There we go, job done. We'll park up this here because we're probably going to need to haul some more. Um, I need to drive this back, so yeah, we can come back and get these. We might need to come back, obviously, with the baler and sort that out. But let's just quickly strap these up and we'll go take them back, eh? And then we'll have a quick chat with uh, George and just say that we can pick up five bales from that field. And then as soon as they're done, so probably tomorrow, we'll, we'll crack on with that. Definitely help us out. But we've done pretty well, really. To get them extra five bales, definitely. I think George will be happy. And it looks like we've got a nice muck spreader. That'll certainly come in handy. Especially with the amount of muck we've got now. You never know, we might get a chance to spread a bit before before we go. I mean, that's a good point, actually. Do we need to get rid of that muck before we go? Hmm. That's George Bar. Hey, you're doing right there, aren't you? I have, ah. Uh, not bad at all, eh, George? Not bad at all. Agree with that. Well, you got here eight bales. Ah, eight bales. Well done, well done. That'll definitely come in handy. Yeah. Hey, I spoke to the guys out in that field. Ah? I asked them if I could do five bales, and they said I could. Well, there you go then. I mean, I'll fire. Uh, actually, do they want money? Honestly, they don't. Right, well, there you go then. No, <laughs> Free stuff. me hell. Proud of you. I am actually proud of you. <laughs> Well, it'll mean we'll have 12 bales, won't we? Which is going to do us right now. If you get more cows, we're obviously going to need more. If you get any animals, I don't know what you're doing. To be honest, George, you don't really tell me much about court. Well, what are you on about? There's not much else to say. Well, I don't know how many acres you've got. I don't know how many grass fields you've got. I don't know how many crop fields you've got. I don't even know what animals you're having. Tell me now, Firescroft, I don't know most of that already. Well, I know how many acres it is. But I can't remember on top of my head. I'll have to go see what it says. 
Is it more than now? Ah, it's bloody more than now, I tell you that. Got crop fields and grass fields. Don't you worry about that. Oh, God, it's going to be a lot of work, isn't it? Ah, but would you want it any other way? Nah, I'm looking forward to it, George. Well, you go then. Quit your jibber-jabber. Quit your jibber-jabber? You keep saying that. Well, feels about right when you say it. <laughs> right then. Anyway, have you figured out where you're going yet? Um, I've got a good idea. I'm just waiting to sell this field now. It's all done, so I can put it up for sale. Oh, well. I can't put an offer until I know my deposit. What are you sitting at now? Um, well, five grand town is five grand I already had. And that 12, nearly 13 grand from the crop, I'm sitting under about 23. Well, that's not bad, is it? How much did you buy this field for? This field, I bought it for 25. 25? Yeah, I'm fine. You want to sell it for that? I, well, I'm hoping so, at least get me money back. I can sort that out. What do you mean? I can sort out putting an ad out for you. All right, and if you can, that'd help me out a lot. Oh, I can't. I mean, you might not sell it in time. I'm not going to lie. Especially a small field like that. A lot of them side fields are grass, aren't they? So, you know, people are going to look at it and maybe think it should be a grass field. Just an heads up on that one. Uh, all right, then. Well, yeah, just get the, get the word out, I guess, and see what happens. Oh, well, we'll do, we'll do. The sooner we do that, the sooner I can put an offer in. I did check last night, and none of them have got any offers in so far, so... You know, both plots that I like are still up for grabs, really. Right, well, I'll try to be as quick as possible, then. Right, well, I'm going to go put these away, and then them five bales I'm doing in that other field I can't do till tomorrow. So I'll just probably check the cows, and, uh, yeah, I'll clean the baler out. All right, um, good job today. Cheers, George. Nice one. See you later, mate. See you in a bit. Right, I'm going to walk over, get that load or bring it back, actually, because i just realised I'm going to have to put these bales away. Clean the baler out. And then it's ready for tomorrow. And then, yeah. We'll get them other five done and brought back down. Yeah, I've made a good point, though, about my field to try and get that out as soon as possible. Not left much time to sell that field in. I was hoping to get 25, but now he's making me think that I won't get that much. Well, I hope so anyway. Nothing's gonna keep me from getting one of them plots. I don't know which one. I mean, George said plot one. I like both of them, so I'm happy either way. <laughs>